Okay, time to get a look at Pittsburgh's weather as we're looking ahead to Friday Night Lights tomorrow, home Steeler game on Sunday, and of course, trick-or-treating next week. Ray, that's a lot for you to be thinking about. Oh, yeah, it is, and after a couple days like today where it would have been awesome to be zipping around on a scooter, uh, I saw motorcycles out, I saw tops down on convertibles. People were loving this weather, I'll tell you that much, and we get one more day of it, and our temps are still quite warm at the moment. A normal high temperature is 59. Many locations from Pittsburgh and north are well above that, and temperatures south of Pittsburgh are at what a normal high would be. And we're only going to lose a few more degrees between now and tomorrow morning, so we'll dip down eventually even here in town to the upper 50s. We're still at 66 with those calm winds and the humidity at 59%. It's been inching up. What we've had was this moisture up high, and that's been trying to uh, moisten up the atmosphere. And it hasn't been doing a great job, but it, it's getting it up there, and we're going to have some rain chances starting to move back into the forecast. Upper 50s for lows tonight. Come tomorrow, we're going to get our highs back in the low to mid 70s in most cases. So a nice warm day again tomorrow. I hope you like these 70s and enjoy it tomorrow because we're running out. Upper 60s Saturday, lower 60s Sunday, and then it's the 40s and 50s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week. You can see how these temperatures take quite a hit. Now, I talked about that rain. You can see on the satellite and radar, there is some moisture overhead. These are elevated showers. They're falling and evaporating as they fall through the atmosphere. But when they evaporate, they add moisture to the atmosphere. That's why our relative humidity has been inching up a little bit. So we could see maybe a sprinkle or two trying to materialize overnight. I don't think there's going to be too much of this, but you can't rule out a quick passing shower even tomorrow morning, and then we'll get in on a little sunshine for a bit before Saturday comes along and we start seeing better rain chances. These are still going to be quite spotty, so Saturday does not look like a washout. You can see how they're sort of broken up through the day. So just a little shower here, a little shower there with some dry time in between. But then we get to Sunday and you can see how much more widespread that rain that's inching our way looks. And that's going to be moving into town, setting us up for a wetter setup. So just know that with our fall color starting to fade this weekend and early next week are your best chances to, to see the best colors locally. However, of the two weekend days, Saturday is looking like the driest and Sunday is looking like the day with the most rain attached. That rain in many cases is going to be lighter, but it's still going to be one of those more damp and dreary days. 58 tonight, mostly cloudy, still warm, and that carries over to tomorrow. Temperatures top off in the mid 70s, but we're already going to be looking at 70 degree type temperatures around lunchtime, and then we'll build up a few more degrees through the afternoon. So a very warm setup tomorrow. This is in advance of the rain and the system that's going to bring the rain and bring the temperatures down. So we do see those temperatures slipping Sunday 63, the most widespread rain there and Monday temperatures fall even more. We brighten it up on Halloween, but 46 degrees is all we'll be able to muster mid 40s again on Wednesday, a little warmer on on Thursday. And remember, check in with Ron for the forecast and John with your traffic tomorrow morning on the KDK Morning News starting at 430.